Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing arithmetic operations focusing on averages. So what is an average? An average is a value that results from adding all the numbers in a set together and dividing them by the amount of numbers. If we were given three numbers, a, b, and c, and we were asked to find the average, the working out would look like this, a plus b plus c e over 3. So if you were still confused on what an average is, Basically, the average is like finding a standard number or the middling number between a huge data set. And these kind of questions come in usually in like data collection. So the reason why I think that averages are quite important, especially in maths, is because it's like a quick way of calculating and generalizing a set of data. For example, let's say you are looking at the average rainfall in August. By finding the average of this rainfall, you can get an individualized look on how much rain there might have been on each day in August without having to look at every single data set within the graph or the thing you're looking at. So in more detail, let's look at the method we use to find averages. So, in a maths test, for example, maybe three boys, Joe, Bob, and Devin, got these results. So, Joe got 60, Bob got 45, and Devin got 90. Now, how do we find the average between all their marks? Firstly, we have to add all the results up. So, that'll be 60 plus 45 plus 90. Now we know 0 plus 5 plus 0 is 5, 6 plus 4 is 10, and 10 plus 9 is 19, so the total would be 195. And now we know we have three results from Joe, Bob, and Devin, so we just simply divide by 3. Now let's say if there was another person then there will be 4 boys, therefore we will divide by 4. So don't forget, it's not always 3, it just depends on how many people are in this set. So let's say 195 divided by 3, that will be 3 divided by 19, which is 6 over, and then 18 under, and 19 minus 18 would be 1, and then put the 5 under, and we all know that 15 divided by 3 is 5. So the average between Joe, Bob, and Devin would be 65. Now, one more thing to note before we do anything else is that another word for average is mean. This is important because a lot of questions might ask, what's the mean of a certain data set? Or what is the mean of these people's test results? When that comes up, just remember that it just means the same as average. So let's do some questions, shall we? So here's an example. The average test score in a class of 9 students was 72. When a new student arrives and takes the test, the class average rises to 73. What score did the new student get in the test? So this may seem a little bit difficult at first, but basically what the question is asking is we're supposed to reverse engineer the process of finding the average and instead now we're sort of finding the individual mark, or in this case the individual mark of the new student. So what this means is that we're working backwards to solve this question. Instead of adding everything up and dividing to find the average, now we have the average and instead of dividing we are multiplying. For example, in this question, we get the average, which is 72, and we multiply it by 9, the same way we would divide if we were finding the average of the 9 students. And now, from that, we can find the total marks. And then, we can do the same process with the average of 73 and 10 students. With that, we can minus the total of 9 students with the total of 10 students, and single out the result for the new student. So let me draw this out so it might be a little bit more simpler to visualize. So there's nine students at first, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
nine. And in order to find the total marks of these nine students, all we need to do is get the average, which is 72, and you times it by nine. Now, we know one more student joined. And there, the class average rises to 73. So now the total of these 10 students, because the one more student joined, is 73 times 10. And now you can sort of see how we find the result of this one student. And in order to do that, we sort of minus this with this. So let's write this out in an equation. So 73 times 10, which is the new total score of the class, minus 72 times 9, equal to the score of the new student. Okay, now we just need to calculate this. So when you times anything by 10, we just know we just add a zero. So it's just 730. And now we need to minus 72 times nine. Okay, let's do a little bit of multiplication. 72, nine. So 9 times 2 is 18. 7 times 9 is 63. But then we have to add another 1 because it got carried over. So that's 648. And now we just need to minus these two numbers. So let's do a little bit of subtraction. 730 minus 648. That's 10 minus 8, that's 2. And then we have to get another 10s. So 10 minus 4 is 6, plus 2 is 8. And 6 minus 6 is 0, so 82. So now we know that the score of the new student is 82. Therefore, the answer is D. And that's it, guys. So anyway, thank you for listening. And good luck to any questions about averages that you might get in the future. Bye!